Hi, in this video we'll show how you can use Microsoft Bookings to schedule meetings either with people on your team or with your clients outside of your organization. So I'm logged in uh, with my Microsoft account at office.com and from uh, all applications menu I will choose Bookings. Here you will notice that we're using the Try New Bookings option. Basically, this is allowing us to see the new UI that I expect will be there uh, in the future when you see this video. So for now, it's still possible to see the old layout, but it's better to do this with a new layout to uh, get used to it. So uh, there's a lot of possibilities here. So let's go to settings to just show uh, what options do you have here. So let's begin with staff. Uh, we see that there's myself, there's another person uh, in my team. And uh, basically here you can add staff that will be able to pick up, pick up the calls or actually meetings with your clients. So you can add new staff if needed. Uh, for everyone that you're adding, you will choose their uh, operating hours. You can either use business hours that are the same for everyone that we're going to show next, or uh, you can add custom hours for this staff member. So I have the two of us. This is enough for this demo. If you need more, you can add them here. So let's go to actually this business information first to show these business hours. So here I will choose the defaults for our organization. And I've said that here it's going to be nine to five and Saturday and Sunday are off. You can of course change this if needed. Uh, other options allow me to add my business logo here. This is gonna look nice on the booking page that customers will see, so uh, feel free to add your logo here as well. And basic details about the company, uh, the business name, business phone number. So all of these details are gonna be uh, shown in uh, booking confirmation emails, so uh, feel free to fill this out with your company details. For now, I just added my business name, uh, uh, my website URL, I select currency and business type. So the next thing is services. So what services are we offering or what meeting types are we offering to our customers to book? So we have this initial consult and before seeing the specifics of it. Let's just show this custom fields first. So these custom fields are custom questions that you're going to be asking your customers while they are booking a meeting with you. So uh, you have two different options of the, for these questions. So these are either text questions uh, like this one, how are you feeling today? And then there's a text box for them to answer or it's a drop down question like this one below where you will ask the question and give them the possible uh, options to, to respond. So uh, I created these two just to show what different uh, types of custom fields are there and now we can actually use them in our services. So let's go back to services to actually edit this meeting to show what options are there. So this is the meeting name that the customers will see. This is the description. For example, let's grab 60 minutes for us for an appointment. Uh, location can either be your company location on the map, you can add it here, or in times of COVID, maybe you will have online meetings. So if you select this option, there will be a Teams meeting invite uh, with this booking. So uh, whoever schedules an invite, sorry, whoever schedules a meeting with you will have an invite for a Teams online call. Uh, duration of this call, one hour seems fine and this is useful. So for example, sometimes your uh, meetings will last longer or after a meeting is done, you don't want another one back to back. You just want to get up and stretch or get yourself a cup of coffee. So for that reason, I will say that buffer time here is 15 minutes, meaning that after my one hour meeting, uh, for the next 15 minutes, no one can book another meeting with me. So I will definitely have these uh, 15 minutes to rest and recharge, and then I can have another hour meeting or, or something else. Uh, the price, you can select the price for your consult. Uh, in my case, I prefer this to be free. And down here where the notes field, field is, uh, you see that these are the notes about this 
meeting type for you and your staff. So this is not something that the customer will see. Customer will see only this description of the meeting. So feel free to add anything useful here. For example, if I'm giving a product demo and I want some someone else to do it, here I can uh, leave some notes on what I want to be uh, shown to the, what I want my colleague to show to the customer. So maybe a checklist of what they need to go through during the meeting. And then we can choose the we can uh, choose maximum number of attendees per meeting. Uh, this is this can be picked only when you're creating a new meeting. So uh, you saw that my meeting type was already created, so I cannot choose it now. But if we decide to add new meeting type, you will be able to increase this to two, five, or ten. And yeah, I will let my customer manage the appointment after it's booked. So this is fine. Here we will choose if this service should be visible on the company's booking page. I prefer this to be turned on so we can uh, demo this uh, fully. Then we will go to av availability options. So you will notice that we can either use defaults and then I cannot click anything. Uh, what's the default for the company will be default for this uh, meeting type as well. Or if we turn this off, then we can uh, make some changes. So. Uh, what are the time increments that are going to be shown in the bookings page? What's the minimum lead time uh, that you cannot book a meeting uh, uh, in front? So if this is 24 hours and today is August 17th, today you won't be able to schedule anything with me, but the first available date is going to be tomorrow, giving me enough time to prepare and to expect this call to come. And maximum lead time means that you will be able to schedule meetings 365 days into the future. So you can also change this, maybe reduce it if needed, but uh, for this example, uh, it, it sounds, it, it looks fine. Uh, availability, we will only allow people to book meetings when staff are free, meaning we don't want any uh, conflicts in our calendars. Then we can assign staff. Uh, like I said, uh, you're able to assign multiple people to this uh, uh, meeting type and then the customer will be able to choose who do they want to meet with or in this case I'll just assign myself and say that this initial consult is always with me because I want to see it in my calendar and show you the end result here. So the next thing are the fields that customers will see while scheduling a meeting with you. So some default ones are email, phone number, I'm setting these as required address I don't really need this in my test example so I turn this off completely and I left customer notes but it's not required so whatever else customer wants to share it's fine but not required at all and then all the custom fields that you have available will be here and for example let's say that we're using this one but we're not using this one how are you feeling today so uh, one custom field is being used and then for reminders uh, we will notify the business via email when a booking is created or changed so they would know uh, to prepare. Uh, we will also send a meeting invite to the customer in addition to the confirmation email and any additional uh, information that you want to share with someone booking a meeting can go here. So any message you want to add or anything else that might be useful. When it comes to reminders, you can uh, you can add reminders for yourself or for the person that booked the meeting with you, so for your customer. Uh, we have an example of both of these things. So for example, uh, this reminder goes to a customer saying we look forward to seeing you one day up front so they don't forget about the meeting or you can uh, create a reminder that's going to be sent to the staff member taking the call one day up front saying hey you have an appointment tomorrow uh, with the customer. So both these options are here and that's basically it. All of the possible options that we can uh, change regarding a different meeting, uh, a meeting type. So let's save changes. And now if we're happy with this, let's go to our booking page. Here what's useful is maybe to choose your color and to display your business logo on booking page. So since my logo is purple, I've chosen this uh, purple color. You can also set a custom color. So this is hex value of, of a color. So any color in the world uh, is acceptable here. And then, yeah, maybe let's mention this. So you can either choose to show uh, 
times uh, or availability for bookings uh, in customer's time zone or in your business time zone. I prefer to leave this off so everyone will see their local times while booking an event. So let's leave it as is. And here we will choose who is able to see this page and book meetings with us. In my example, this is initial consult with clients. So basically I want this to be able to be available to everyone on the internet. So I'll copy this link and let's show how it works. So basically you will put this link somewhere in your uh, website or you will uh, put it on a uh, business card of yours, something like that. So whoever finds this and wants to schedule a call with us will see this page. I will select staff member for my call. As you can see today is off like uh, that those 24 hours of lead time uh, are making uh, tomorrow as the first available day for this call. Let's say tomorrow 1 p.m. And some uh, details. So John Doe, I will put a real email here so you see the email. Phone number, notes. Okay, this is optional. And let's say my questions are going to be family law related. and a customer will click here and book a meeting with me. Okay, this is successful. And now the reason I used my uh, real personal email is to show you this. So this is the email that the customer received. So this is the initial consult. Uh, these are the uh, business. Th these are the business details that we added at the beginning of the video. So this is the company name. This is the website. You can add phone number here. You can add your address, address of your company. And since this is a Teams meeting, this is a link so a customer can join the call. One last thing I want to show. Let me just navigate back to where we were. Is that now that someone scheduled a call in Customers tab, we see that a new customer is created and also in Matter 365 in this upcoming event style, we will see another event created. So tomorrow, 18th of August, initial consult for John Doe. If we click on this, we will see that uh, an event is created in our calendar as well. Yeah, all of the details, all of the responses to the questions that we asked and here it is in my calendar. Uh, notifying me that tomorrow I have a call with John.